So the new world series, the new rank seasons rewards are here. So we're going to go over that in this video, as well as what's coming later this week, specifically tomorrow, player of the month, everything like that. We're just going to kind of be talking about it and showing the attributes and everything like that for the new rank seasons rewards going for, I guess, 500 or more likes. That's a nice even number on this video feel free to subscribe if you're not already on the road to 100,000 subscribers comment down below out of these two we're gonna get their attributes in just a second mvp josh donaldson and milestone eric davis which one would y'all choose if you could only choose one out of those two in my opinion i feel like i'm leaning towards josh donaldson but for me both of these dudes in the past have had really really good swings in diamond dynasty so i really want to see their attributes what it's looking like and based on my team you know kind of make a decision after that but both of them seem like they should be good cards 99 overall in september i feel like they should both hopefully be good and like i said i love both of their swings real quick before we hop into the video itself i just want to say as a cardinals fan i'm a little bit confused because we are playing one of the best teams today in the dodgers and we are fighting for a wild card spot trying to make it into that number two wild card spot and we have matt carpenter starting over paul goldschmidt and we have Paul DeYoung starting over at Mundo Sosa. If there's any Cardinals fans, let me know your thoughts on that. It just seems kind of absurd to me, you know, less than a month ago in the season. And we're starting those two guys against one of the best teams in baseball while we're fighting for a wild card spot. Just kind of weird to me, but that's not the focus of this video. I just want to kind of get it off my chest a little bit. But let's go to rank season. Show y'all guys a big change. A huge change. And rank seasons is the reward path instead of 40 cumulative wins it is now 30 to get the ranked season world series rewards right here kind of crazy i think it's a good change i personally would still like to see and more towards the br style where you have missions and stuff like that you can do but i do like that they lowered it from 40 to 30 i feel like 40 is just kind of absurd in my opinion and let's check out the attributes for these two dudes man Let's see what Eric Davis and Josh Donaldson looking like. I can turn off the cam real quick for y'all. And I am a little bit disappointed looking at his uh, contact versus righties. Everything else to me looks good, right? An outfielder with diamond defense, good reaction, good arm strength and accuracy, max down speed, great power, amazing hitting attributes pretty much maxed out literally one away once you super factor and one away from being maxed out versus lefties in terms of contact and power power is really good versus righties but man you couldn't have juiced his contact versus righties a little bit i know they try to make these cards kind of somewhat realistic reflective of how the players did but if tops now cards are getting 110 for contact versus both sides we could give milestone eric davis at least 100 contact versus righties we could give pedro martinez at least 110 hits per nine right it just is a little bit weird to me what some of the cards look like versus what some of the cards don't look like with that being said this looks like a really solid card it's just weird to me sometimes what they choose to juice versus what they choose not to juice but overall insane defense max down speed insane attributes versus lefties still really good versus righties i just wish the contact was higher versus righties man but it's still a good looking card josh donaldson i feel like just looking at their attributes you know i like both of these dudes i feel like for me i'm choosing josh donaldson the, the contact man contact makes the pci bigger the higher the contact the bigger the pci is gonna be in ranked seasons and versus righties i just can't do 85 like I, I need the 100 or higher man especially on hall of fame and once i get into legend difficulty so i feel like based on the attributes i'm going with josh donaldson 102 104 for the contact 102 114 for the power love to see it diamond defense over there at third base however I got Chipper Jones a third, man. Do I want to take out Chipper, that switch hitter, diamond switch hitter? You know, it, it's hard to say. So I don't know if any of these two guys would really make my starting lineup. With that being said, Eric Davis, little glitchy swing. Josh Donaldson, glitchy swing as well. So I really need to debut both of them, see how they play and everything like that. I still haven't debuted Verlander or Lindor, man. I've been slacking on the game plays. I apologize for that. Hopefully we can stop slacking soon. That's my bad that we've been slacking a little bit on the game plays but those are the two new world series rewards just looking at their attributes knowing what i know about the cards and their swings i feel like i prefer josh donaldson especially because of the attributes but both solid i just wish that contact was a little bit higher versus righties and now i want to see i think there's new pennant race rewards right uh if i'm not mistaken these two guys have already been in the game yeah looking at those prices they should already be in the game so eric hosmer 
is one of the new ones. We're not going to spend a ton of time on these just because, you know, they're, they're 96, 95 overall, whatever. But Eric Hosmer, lefty bat, first baseman, award series, 116, 91 for the contact, 85 and 70 for the power. Uh, diamond defense, arm strength, nothing at first. It doesn't matter, though. But good looking card, man. A good looking card for a pretty much free diamond. This is going to go for pretty much minimum stubs and everything. So. I can't complain. All-time Royals, Padres type of team might be looking cool. Jay Buhner. I honestly am surprised that his best card is only a 95. I feel like in the past. Let me just Google 99 Jay Buhner. Have we had a 99 Jay Buhner before? I actually don't know. Uh, but either way, maybe we haven't. Um, his signature series in the past has been 95. Okay. For some reason, my brain was thinking his signature series had been a little bit higher. But, hey, Milestone J. Buhner hit for the cycle. Another outfielder. 89-118 for the contact. 99-100 for the power. Going to be a solid card for maybe a, a events, team builds, battle royale, stuff like that. But with these types of cards, you know, they're never ones that it's like, okay, yeah, is this going to be a guy, you know, I I'm probably only going to be using 99 overalls, at least for my God Squad type of team in ranked seasons. But for a theme team, like an all-time team, these will be good additions. And I would assume that the rating rewards probably didn't change, but I still like seeing uh, unlocks at 30 wins. I still like seeing that. That's really cool instead of 40. That's a big, big change for me. I love that. I, I, I like, I know um, I mentioned it already, but that is, I'm super happy about that, man. I think that's personally, in my opinion, a good change. Now, with that being said, before we get to the rest of the video, I do wish there was a more competitive mode, like a weekend league, just something where the best players in the game could get rewarded because there, there's no real rewards for getting to a thousand rating 1100 1200 for making top 50 you know you don't get anything it needs to be worth something if you're going to make people play that much and everything I, I feel like there needs to be more rewards and i just want to say thank you to whoever said that you can just go up when you're in diamond dynasty because i knew there was a calendar when i've gone into diamond dynasty before there's been a calendar and I just did not know how to get there. So whoever commented saying you can just go up, thank you. You are a lifesaver. But tomorrow, big, 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 big day tomorrow. August monthly awards. The lightning cards should be revealed in the morning. I think tomorrow morning, I'm going to have a video of my best way guide advice for getting the program done fast kind of what you need to do to prepare i know it's a little bit late but we did one of those last time people liked it so i think i might have one of those going up tomorrow morning we'll just have to wait and see but monthly awards tomorrow new event tomorrow let me turn on the calendar let's see let's see if we can see anything else coming up wednesday monthly awards new conquest map new event and rewards and then a new headliner coming out tomorrow so a pretty big day tomorrow i'm excited i will see y'all then i hope you enjoyed this video i can't wait to see your thoughts down in the comment section man who are you choosing are you going with i already forgot the rewards are you going with josh donaldson or eric davis i feel like for me just based on attributes i gotta go josh donaldson but i do love both of their swings and i always have a fun time playing with their cards and i feel like both of them will be guys where if i see him pop up in battle royale my bad man i forgot to turn this off if i see both of them pop up in battle royale i feel like those are guys that i want to use in br and stuff like that but also rank seasons i do want to try them out so i will see y'all next time i know i talk kind of fast during these i just want to get them up and try not to waste any more y'all's time than i need to just go over everything get my thoughts ask for your thoughts stuff like that so like comment subscribe social medias all the good stuff I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Monthly more is tomorrow. Team Affinity later this week. I can't wait. I will see you next time. Peace out.